as we sit back and watch this, and we take the long eye of history as our guide, for many of us, we look and say, how would this situation be different if race was an issue? I am watching thousands of people, not of color, in an armed standoff in Washington, D.C. This is where we are at this moment. What is the messaging that you think we need to give to the Black and the Brown and the Indigenous community to get us to trust the possibility of using a vaccine when it's made available? I think that Joe Biden's greatest legacy outside of taking us through COVID-19, which is a storm that we must go through, Joe Biden's greatest legacy is being able to bring together people to reflect what our nation looks like, to make the type of change where all voices are included. I think that, you know, the necessary evil of the former president who ends on Wednesday shows us that democracy is fragile. And if we want it to continue, we have to be willing to fight for it and allow it to represent everyone. Eyes Whitehead, the Associate Professor of Communication with Loyola University, Maryland, is joining us live to weigh in on what this institute really offers. Dr. Whitehead, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. I'm just delighted to be here to talk about this latest initiative at Loyola University and how excited we are uh, to do this at this moment in time. How did you come up with this? How did this idea come to fruition? So I've, for a long time, I've always wanted to do an institute at Loyola. Uh, I study race, peace, and social justice. I have a background in all of those areas, and I'm able to teach critical race theory and culturally responsive teaching. When I looked at what was happening this year when we were all shut in uh, because of COVID-19, uh, and thinking about what was happening when the world responded to George Floyd, uh, the murder of George Floyd, demanding justice for Breonna Taylor, looking around at what's happening in Baltimore City, it felt like the right time, even in the midst of a a global pandemic in the midst of a presidential season, that this was a time for Loyola University to launch this institute.